so I'm here today to do a drugstore haul. So if you know me, you know I typically go to CVS for like all drugstore products. They have really good deals like buy one get one half off, buy one get one free. If you have an extra care card, you get $5 when you spend $50 and just I'm a huge fan of CVS. But I went to Walgreens for this haul. I went to a couple different stores and found some really awesome products. And you know, there's some items that you can buy at Walgreens that you can't buy at CVS. So definitely check out both. Recommend CVS first and then Walgreens second. So let me get started. So first I want to talk about um, a product that I mentioned in a couple videos ago. I picked up another color and it's in 03 Immortals. And I'm talking about the Giordana Made to Last Liquid Eye shadow and I'm super excited to say that this one right here is actually a complete dupe for Bobbi Brown long wear cream shadow stick in goldstone and I actually have them both swatched right here so right here is the Jordana made to last and as you can tell it's like a pretty brown color with some shimmers and right next to it over here I'll add a little bit more to it but as you can tell this one's a little bit more shimmery. I did also put a lot more in my hand, but if you can tell, they're the exact same color. It might be a little hard to pick it up on my camera, but like I'm looking at it here and they're the exact same color, um, exact same kind of shimmer. And this one is like $29 and this one is five. So definitely check it out. This, that's in color 03 Immortals. I recommend every color, they're all beautiful. I wish I could buy like a hundred of them and just have one for like every day of my life pretty much. So definitely check it out. It's my favorite eyeshadow at the moment. Um, it might even be beating my eyeshadow palette that I'm obsessed with. So a couple other, other Giordana products I mentioned in another video again the, that I just dropped it on the floor um, is the Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. These guys are awesome. They stay on pretty long. I would say they remind me a lot of the Anastasia liquid lip. Um, as I've kind of tried it more days, I'm not like head over heels for these. I think they're awesome. I definitely think for $5, they're one of the best liquid lipsticks you can buy for under like $20. Um, they do last a long time. After about five hours, six hours, you will definitely want to reapply. Maybe even after four hours, you'll want to just add some more because it does start to kind of fade depending on how much you eat and drink. Um, but I have these in color strawberry cheesecake, which is what I'm wearing right now, which when you look at it, it's actually like this light pink, but as you see it on, it definitely becomes a little bit more of like a reddish pink opposed to like a peachy pink. So this one is strawberry cheesecake. And then I also purchased it, purchased it in mango sorbet, which is color number five. And this is kind of a peachy um, coral red color. And then compare it to my succulent and color pop. Um, they're very similar. This one's a little bit more red. This one's a little bit more coral, but we'll see how this one applies because this one definitely um, turned out more red and dark. So we'll see what happens with this one. Good formulas. So another Giordana product is these um, modern matte lipsticks and these guys are like three bucks and they're good. They're not amazing. I have both of them swatched right here. So I have it in color matte pretty, which is the this lighter shade right here, which I actually really think that is pretty. See, can't you tell like those are the same? I'm just so excited about that. And then this darker color is matte caliente, which I believe is hot in Spanish. You correct me if I am wrong. Um, but they both go on really nicely. Um, you definitely will need more than one layer. I find that you have to press really hard to get that pigmentation on your lips. But for a couple of bucks, they're not bad. There's some good colors. And those are the Giordana Modern Matte Liquid Lipsticks, which I believe you can buy only in Walgreens or on Giordana.com. Um, there are some at Kmart's. I don't have a Kmart around me to confirm that. But it's all around like a good brand. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, just a couple more Giordana products to mention. I also purchased the Giordana Best Length Extreme Lengthening, Lengthening Mascara, which I believe was like $3, $3.99, somewhere in there. And you get a decent amount. You get 0 0.34 fluid ounces, which is more than you typically get in the expensive mascaras. And I think the formula is pretty good. It has a super large wand. I mean, this is like massive. 
Um, but so far I like it. I put a little bit um, on today and I think it looks really good. So I'll definitely keep trying this. I also bought some of the Easy Liner retractable pencils and I bought some of the darker shades. I don't wear those like teals and bright colors. I just really like my solid like navy black, um, kind of a grayish color and purple, like an eggplant. So I have an eggplant, black is blue and blue divine. And I've only tried eggplant and I actually swatched it on my hand right here. So if you press kind of lightly and it is not shimmery, that is the highlighter that I will be showing you. Um, if you press really lightly, that's what you get with, with that first line. But if you press, press a little bit harder, that's what you get with the second line. Where if you go back through twice, that's where you get this um, nice solid line. So I think for like two bucks, these are really good. Um, I haven't worn them for like a full day, so I don't know the wearability yet. But I'll definitely try those out. Maybe I'll do like a video um, end of the week kind of saying how I like some of these products. And then the last Jordana product um, that I tried was the Jordana Fabu Liner. And it's just like a liquid eyeliner and it has just like a felt tip. And I do like this. Um, I think it's really good. I think this was also like $2.99. And um, I have tried this once. It reminds me a little bit of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Um, the brush head isn't as flexible as that when it's stiff, but I almost think that makes it easier to apply it because if you just keep a straight, a stiff hand, you can just um, carry that line over. So for a couple bucks, again, this is good. I think Jordana is my favorite new affordable line in that kind of affordable range. I consider there to be e.l.f., um, Wet n' Wild, Jordana, and that's kind of it. Like I think affordable is anything under $5 where you start to get into like Revlon Color Girl and all those brands and those are usually about six to twelve to even seventeen dollars for some products nowadays. So I definitely think Jordana is doing a great job. So definitely check them out at Walgreens, Jordana.com, and Kmart's, hopefully. So a couple of other products I want to highlight is I bought this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. I don't think this is a bronzer, I think this is more of a highlight. That's actually what you see when you see all of that sparkle there. That is the sky, so like Holy cow, that's shimmery and sparkly. When you like look at it, it looks more like a matte powder. Like you can't really see all that shimmer that's behind it. And it's like definitely a highlighter. And I think it's really pretty. I'm trying to find a spot on my hand that I haven't swatched. That's really difficult. So I'll just take it right here. If you can kind of see like, it's just sparkly. I'm just so surprised at how it looks so like matte and like, Slightly shimmery, but not super. So I will definitely be using this as a highlighter and it's not a bronzer by any means. Um, I'm pretty pale and like, this is like pretty much my, well, maybe a little bit darker than me, but just pretty pale. So this is definitely a highlight. So a couple other Wet n Wild items, items that I purchased were these um, One Step Wonder gel, gel Nail Polishes. Um, I have tried these before and I think these are really great. Um, they usually last about five to seven days and usually at day four or five they start to chip a little bit. Depending on what kind of um, undercoat you use and top coat, you might get it to last a little bit longer too. But I think they come in really great colors, they're again affordable, I think they're $3.99 a bottle, you can buy them on sale too. And I have them in color by Felucia, which is really funny if you know the by Felicia reference. And then I have Until Next Time. So I'm a sucker for those corny, clever names. So good job. And the last couple Wet n Wild items that I purchased um, were the Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. So I find the name funny, like a celebrity concealer. Um, but we'll see how it works. One thing that's really interesting is the container looks like this. And to me, it really looks like the Makeup Forever Um the new H Ultra HD concealer, which is kind of funny. They're trying to just elevate their packaging style, which, you know, I can't, um, you know, I give them perks for. It's always good to kind of try and step up your game. So let's see, I'm going to try and see how creamy and covering this is. It says it's a buildable, um, oh, yeah. So I'm like putting it here and it's like, it's definitely kind of thick. It says it's, um, it doesn't crease. Um, I could see that being good. Like, it's definitely a fuller, like, coverage. 
I almost want to try it like over some of these things and see whatever can cover it. But um, I, I believe this was mm, too many receipts. It was $4.99. So for a wet and wild product, that's kind of expensive. Um, but I'll give it a try. And I think I might make a recap video with all these products just to kind of give my overall impression. And I'm almost done. So I have a couple more wet and wild items. And I tried their brushes. Um, I haven't actually tried them. I just purchased them. Um, but just feeling them. And the quality for... Like these guys were $0.99 cents and this was $2.99. I think that's really good. I haven't been too impressed with all... Elf's brushes lately. I think they're kind of cheap. They fall apart really fast. And I think these ones will definitely last a lot longer. They're kind of cute. They're white with the little bit of pink. I think they'll get dirty easily, but for cheap brushes, you don't really care. Um, I'll definitely use these kind of as my travel brushes, and maybe I'll throw these in my makeup bag that I use on a daily basis because they're kind of um, slightly compact. Like they're not skinny handled, but. I personally don't like it when a brush handle is that big. I like to be able to have a full size brush. So just to highlight on which ones I got, I got the small concealer brush, which is um, definitely small, but I definitely think that it'll help you kind of get under your lashes and just really kind of conceal. Like if you have like little spots, it'll help you spot conceal too. So 99 cents for that one. Um, then I also bought the eyeshadow one. I definitely think that this is a good size for blending. This one is also 99 cents. And then I bought the flat head face brush. And I like this one. I definitely think this one was 299. I think this one will be good. Um, not awesome, but good. And then one last item to touch on is a Maybelline item. And I have the Falsies Big Eyes Waterproof. And this is really cool. It has upper and lower lash um, mascara wand. So this one is the upper, it's like a normal size, uh, bigger than a normal size wand. And then the other side is a mini little wand for your under eye lashes. So I think that's really cool. I struggle with mascaring my under eye lashes. So I thought this was a good buy. I have been using this. The formula is not great, but the brushes are nice. So um, it's kind of a, a trade off there. but. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I definitely think that if there were any items, I think you need to run and go buy like immediately. Um, some Walgreens are open 24-7, so you could. Um, either Jordana liquid eyeshadow, like this stuff is amazing. Like look at how like beautiful and like, oh, and it's better than the Bobby, Bobby Brown, I think. I think they're both like really awesome. And then I still think the Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipsticks, even though I wouldn't give these like a 10 out of 10, I think they're a solid 8, 8.5, which to me is higher than most of the liquid lipsticks I've been trying lately. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Um, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really makes my day when I see people liking my videos and leaving comments. Um, definitely puts a smile on my face and um, helps motivate me to go buy more makeup. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and um, have a good day. Until next time, uh, adios.